can we get a very polished, everyday, beautiful makeup look with products that are all under $10? We're going to tackle that right now. Hello friends, I am bringing you this makeup look today and every single product that I did use today is under $10 which I'm super excited about because you know that I love to be able to bring you affordable makeup that can make you look your very best and I want to say a special thank you to e.l.f. because they did reach out to me today and they are sponsoring this video. I know that I don't hardly do sponsored videos ever but when my company that I do my links through, my affiliate it links through down below in the box when they reached out to me and said that elf was reaching out to me i was like oh my goodness this is a brand that i've been using for way long before i had my youtube channel and it's a brand that i really believe in because i believe that there are some absolute gems in elf's line that just are absolutely bougie makeup there's uh, that's my new word you're gonna see that in a lot of videos that's my new word bougie but i think that you can really look Look bougie on a budget so you're looking polished you're looking beautiful you're looking more youthful so even though not all of these products are from elf they are under ten dollars and i'm excited to bring them to you today so let's get into all the makeup that's under ten dollars and let's do that right now so we're going to start out first with hard candy this is the sheer envy pore defense primer this does not have any silicone in it i've been testing this for quite a while now and i finally have decided i need to bring this to you the reason is is because in summertime when our skin is sweating a little bit more and i know that when i have a hot flash it's so much more pronounced right now and the silicone kind of feels a little bit oily on your skin at times so when you're doing your makeup it can get to where you're feeling like what worth it is it going to keep help keep my makeup on or is there a balancing that we have to do now what i like about it is that it's very very light and it's very sheer i like that about it and it makes my skin feel a little bit tacky now why would i want it to be a little bit tacky because after that it's going to grip onto whatever is on top of it so i'm going to let this dry down for a couple minutes because I don't want to go in immediately but I'm gonna let it just sit there for a couple minutes and next I'm going to be doing my foundation trick that I will link the video below I did that foundation video and since then I've been doing my foundation like this it just works well but I want to introduce you to a product that I just found from elf which I'm super excited about this is the sheer tint finishing powder from elf this packaging is very high-end very luxe we have you know the mirror the compact the puff down here that you can use what is beautiful about this powder remember i told you i almost had a dupe for the becca light shifter powder or light shifting whatever it's called anyway this is it it's super light it's a little bit more coverage than that so it's not an exact dupe but boy it does a good job of being pretty darn close so i have been in love with this lately and the reason that you do your powder before your foundation is to set everything down and it doesn't allow the makeup to break through something about giving this extra little bit of coverage really really helps a lot and this is beautiful beautiful and i really love this powder it just is super light super airy doesn't make me look cakey and i can use this to set my makeup as well also what's awesome about this powder is it has i think six shades so it goes from fair all the way to deep so you're going to be covered no matter what your shade range is and it's sheer enough that it doesn't have to be an exact powder match i really really like that i wanted to do two foundations that i actually mixed together the reason i wanted to do two is i use the revlon color stay 24 hour normal to dry foundation i love this this is a foundation that is a little bit thicker it is a little bit more full coverage medium to full coverage but also what's lovely about it is that it comes in that dry skin formula normal to dry and it also comes in the oily so that's why i wanted to show it to you guys today is because it does come in the oily 
all of my foundations right now are a little bit too light for what I've been doing with my self tanning. I'll just have to warm this up with a bronzer. But the one that I'm mixing it with, and the reason I'm doing that is because this is a little bit more light of a foundation. And this is a beautiful foundation too, and I wanted to show it to you. This is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Let's see what color I have both of these in. The one in the Revlon is in buff, and then the one in the Essence is in natural like i said right now these are just much too light look at how much lighter than my skin it is right there but i'll just take care of that with some blush and some bronzer this is so pretty on when, when it gets mixed like that and i just think it's lovely so what i'm gonna do is i'm using a new sponge that i've got sent that i'm trying out this one is called stands out beauty sponge i like this beauty sponge but at the same time I'm just getting used to it. But both of these foundations, they cover really well. This is one coat and it's covering all of my imperfections really well. While that's setting down, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. I'm not a fan of the regular one, the just the camo one, but this one is beautiful on my mature under eyes. Everything is so light right now. I've got to get in and get myself some darker colors while I'm doing this self tanning. It's driving me crazy, but we will work with it anyway. Great coverage as you can tell, and it doesn't dry out my mature under eyes and wrinkles. They just get so pronounced. I know that a lot of people don't like this concealer. Usually when you don't like a concealer, I mean, obviously there's some bad concealers out there, but usually when I don't like a concealer, I will find that I've used too much. I, you know, what I had on my fingers there, I even switched fingers so I could pick up a little bit of the extra, extra. And I'm even going to go in with my sponge now on the clean side, and I'm just gonna go under here. I'm not gonna go right up under where I need all the coverage, but I'm just gonna try and get it picked up a little bit so there's absolutely no creasing and I just have a minimal amount in there. I'm gonna set that concealer down with my Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So this has a really pretty um, glow to it without being too, too over the top, shiny or anything. And that's what I'm gonna set these down with because if I don't set them right away, they will crease on me during the summer months. So I just put a little bit on there and I'm going to do it in the parts that have a little bit of breakthrough throughout the day too, which is my T-zone. Somebody came to visit. Hi, boo-boo. Hi, boo-boo. Oh, goodness. You give kisses. I did my brows off of camera, but I'll show you my two products that I really am in love with right now. And this one is the Instant Lift uh, Brow Pencil from e.l.f. You've seen this before. It's like two or three dollars. It doesn't have a super fine tip on the end, but um, it has the spoolie on the other end. And I just like it because it just does my brows. It goes across them so pretty. And I just really, really like it. So, and then to set it, I have not off the elf pedestal i love the elf wow brow for when i'm just on a day when i don't have time to do my makeup it can go through that the hairs that i do have for eyebrow hair and it'll go through them it'll deposit little fibers and it'll make them look a little bit thicker but on days when i can take a little bit more time i've been loving the essence wow brow or make me brow excuse me i've been really loving that and it's because it just really clings to the brows and it sets them so well this is great and if you want to see me do a complete brow, then you can go over to my latest video. I will try to link that down below. Um, not the latest, but I think it was the one right before that where I completely did a get ready with me and I showed you, you know, tips for aging eyes. So definitely go check out that video if you're interested in how your brows can make your eyes look more youthful. The next thing I'm going to use um, for this look is the Bite Size Eyeshadow Cream and Sugar from e.l.f. I love these little things. The mattes in them are super buttery and the metallics in them are gorgeous. So we're just gonna use three colors today, I think. I'm gonna use this one as a transition color. And I didn't do the tape today either because I'm doing a very, very soft look. 
So I'm just using that color to do a very soft transition. If you have been wondering about these Bite Shies shadows, the hype is real. The shadows are really, really good. They remind me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows. You know how they have a little bit of kick up because they're so soft, but they're very easily blendable. Once I get that color built up where I want it to be, then I'm gonna take a little shader brush. These are Luxie brushes if you're wondering. And I'm gonna go into that dark color, very, very pigmented. So a little bit's gonna go a long ways. And then I'm just gonna do this outer V part and when I do my outer V all I do is take this brush and lay down color to begin with I just try to make the color come up on the corner and then down in the crease a little bit and that's all I'm doing is using very small motions and not getting crazy with it trying to very precisely place it in that corner what's going to happen is if you use this brush to do shading you're going to get it way too dark too quickly and that is i find what my problem was for a long time in using shadow is that i went in with too much to begin with and then i also went in sometimes with too dark of a transition color so my cut my look was already dark and then you know you go in with this darker color and it just deepens up even more all right going back in with that original brush and now i'm just going to kind of buff this a little bit and just kind of keep trying to do swirling motions to buff it out make it look a little bit softer because you've got that crease color i'm sorry you've got that transition color already on your brush and then what you're trying to do is just soften it and blend it with the rest of your makeup look don't pull it over yet just kind of stay right down in there and then later on after you've got it all buffed in the way that you think that it looks really soft and really natural then you can come over just a tiny bit into the crease all right, I don't normally wear gold, but I'm gonna take that same shader brush and I'm gonna kind of clean it off right here. And then I'm going to go down into the gold color and I'm gonna place it right next to the uh, crease color or the darkening outer V color. And I'm just gonna blend those two together very softly. <laughs> Some of you have seen me do this trick before. Now the color that's gonna go on my lid is right here. I'm gonna put it on my finger. I'm gonna take that Catrice uh, spray excuse me and i'm gonna spray my finger and then i'm just gonna go in directly onto my lid what's that what that's going to do is highly intensify that color and it's going to make it stick to your eyelid all day long and this is a beautiful metallic oh my goodness isn't that a pretty metallic wow now take your brush and just make sure that everything is going to be seamlessly blended together this is the original um, transition color brush. Okay, now I'm gonna take just my pencil brush and I'm gonna do just a little bit of shadow liner and I'm gonna stay out here in the corner as much as I possibly can. And I'm taking a flat paddle brush that came with a Juvia's Place set and I'm gonna go into here so that I can put this on the inner corner, but I'm not gonna wet it because I don't want it to be super duper intense. And I all I do with my inner corner is just lay that down just very very small amount and i've chosen for my eyeliner this elf this is the h2o pencil that is waterproof i love this thing it's so good you guys know that i normally don't do my eyelashes on camera and i will go off but i want to show you how pretty this is on your eyeline right there it just makes a beautiful look for mascara i'm using covergirl clump crusher mascara this is one that emily noel talked about in a lot of older videos that i just saw very recently and i really have been liking it it does not clump together at all and it just really fans out and holds my curl really well and it's not a waterproof formula but it is very very smudge resistant and i really enjoy it does a really pretty job look at the difference in the eyes so i'm going to go and i'm going to do the other one off camera in order to warm this look up because i'm super pale right now i'm going to use the milani silky matte bronzer i really really like this you want to talk how this looks high end it's just so pretty and then i it is in sun kissed and this is the second one or oh two and what i really love about this is the tone of it so it has a little bit of red in it it has a little bit of coolness to it without getting muddy and so i can use this to carve out my cheekbones and warm up my skin at the same time so it's kind of a bronzer slash contour product and it's really great and because i do need that warmth to my face i'm going to kind of dust this 
a lot well i'm going to really put it into my hairline and as my bronzer but i'm going to kind of dust this across my whole entire face when you do your bronzer and blush don't be afraid to go up underneath your eyes if you have something on that's too light for a foundation because you're still going to need to warm it up but you don't want to have raccoon eyes so i am putting that a little bit underneath my eyes all over the cheeks just what's left on my brush i'm not going crazy with it and going down into it but you can see that it really warmed me up a lot all right now elf has a beautiful highlighter and i think this one is in their lightest color there's a gold and a rose gold and then this one i think this is molten pearl or something like that I'm not sure. Anyway, it's just a beautiful pearl color. I just really love it. I didn't want to flip you off there. And I put my blushes on, or I put my highlighter on before I put my blush on. I want this to show up a lot underneath that blush, so I'm going to really beam that out. I'm going to go in next with the putty blush, and I'll throw up on the screen what this is too, because I want to say it's Tahiti, but every time I say one or the other, I'm wrong on it. There's a Tahiti and a Bora Bora, and I get them mixed up. If you've had haven't tried this blush yet. It is so good. It doesn't deposit too much on your cheeks at once. And I love that about it, but it can be built up as much as you want it to. And it is just so pretty. I'm going to put a powder blush on top of this because when we're talking about summertime makeup, we're also talking about the fact that we want it to stay and be budge resistant. So I'm going to put the primer infused blush in always rosy over top of it. If you guys haven't tried this one, this is awesome because it has that primer in it it's going to hug your cheeks and you really don't need both products but i wanted to show you what they look like on top of each other that you can layer them without getting too crazy now look how pretty that blush is and it just kind of glows underneath there i love that technique it's one of my favorites so i do also have the elf halo glow setting powder this is a beautiful very finely milled powder that reminds me very much of the hourglass veil powder it is so light and airy that it's almost exactly like that and if you want to blur out your pores like i have big pores in this area right here so i'm just going to kind of buff this around and everybody always asks me every time where i got this big brush from and it's an it brush that you can get at ulta so i'll make sure i link that below but i'm just dusting this in the parts right there in the middle and it's going to just blur out out my complexion and make my complexion look so much nicer and all right for a lip liner i have chosen the rimmel exaggerate in addiction this is such a pretty liner let me see if i can show it to you guys see how it's angled right there i love that and it goes around the curves of your lips so much and i can't talk and do this at the same time this reminds me of charlotte tilbury's lip cheats so much texture and the way it goes across the lips it just reminds me of that so much and then this is a petal pout lipstick from flower beauty and this one is in naked blush that's a matte color look how it's just kind of my lips but better color i really like that and then the very last thing that i'm going to go in with is the maybelline lifter gloss i believe this one is in pearl I could be wrong, so I will make sure I leave it below for you guys. And that is the finished look. Let's take down the hair and fluff it up. And then I'm going to put me some pretty earrings on. And I apologize because neither my shirt nor my earrings are available. You guys, I keep my earrings for years and years. And I have had these for more years than I care to confess to you right now. Because, uh, yeah, I'm that old. And so that is the look. Thank you, Elf, so much for reaching out to me. I really do appreciate that and also thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your time with me and seeing all these products under ten dollars each which i think is awesome that we can do a face like this and we can get it completed without spending a bloody fortune on our makeup sorry about smuckers biting her nails back there she has a little bit of a problem with that but yeah i've had two dogs that bit their nails and she's one of them so Hope you like the look. Please leave a in the comment section below what your favorite e.l.f. product is. I always love to hear that from you guys. Thanks so much for spending a bit of your time with me. Love you very much, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, friends.